my name is Tommy. Welcome back to Neat Nexamon Extinction Abyssal Tyrants. Last time, we fought, I think, two tyrants because we started the episode off, got one halfway through, and ended up here. This time, we're hoping to complete them, and uh, we are going to head to the right because apparently the final Abyssal Tyrants this way, even though, who knows, why am I walking? Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Ah, what's the matter? Ahead lies an arcane maze that I'm sure you're no stranger to them. What? Oh, the ones with the pattern that was near the orphanage. This one's special, though. Whoever's made it must be have been ex quite exceptional. All right, all right, all right, I get it. Three? Wait. Three? But I only have two. It appears I've been standing since the time of the memorial. Okay. Can we speak to their spirits from clues? I only know two. What's? What do you mean there's three? Okay, so this is the area that I'm going to need to use the compass for. Uh, let's do the tablet first. I'm just going to go top to top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, since there's four of them. So it looks like this would be the first down. Then the broken piece is top right. Whoa, I almost went up. Oh, there's shit in here. Great. Hey, growth berry. Yeah. So this one probably, right? And then now we're going to go to the bottom left, which is top left. That sounds confusing. Wait, is it the way I came? It has to be. So I... Okay. And then top right. So this one. Oh, I did it. I did it because now we're in a different area. Another growth berry. Ghost whistle. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going to have a feeling we're going against a ghost. Which means we're going to need fire and or water. I like the idea of you getting leveled up. Congratulations, little buddy. You're our main. Great. You're going in. Hey, what's up? That wasn't so bad, was it? I can sense an abyssal chroma nearby. Chroma? I know chroma. Oh, hey, everyone. Dean, Dina. Weird. Weird that, um... Anyway... Oh, everyone's here. What are you doing, Olzar? Everyone's here. Okay, we got a lot of people here. What's up, Olzar? Have you been in this game? I mean, I've seen you around for sure. Well met, Grumble. Wait a sec. That's... Who's that again? It's Olzar. That's Olzar, idiot! Yeah, 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 yeah. The statue guy. That's how you know him? Seems like I've earned quite a reputation, more or less. Can't believe my eyes. Such a great honor. Have we met him before in this game? Because I've been in Nexomon, and I beat Nexomon recently, so it's like he's been throughout the entire story of that. But what's the meaning of this? Tyrant Chroma, the Abyssal of the Dread. She lies just at, oh, I was right, it was Ghost. Good. You can leave that to us. That's why we're here. Could you stand a chance, though? You didn't even notice that one of your comrades is missing. She wasn't around, but I figured she just stayed back. It's the little girl reading the ball. Yeah. I didn't see her in the previous area, so I was just like, okay. Kind of weird that this one's the one that's been chasing her. So, the maze, she must have been taken between transitions. So, this is why Chroma hid in the area. It was a trap to finish what she started. What do you mean? Am I going to fight Olzar again? He does this every game. He stands two feet outside the gate and goes, fight me, idiot. Dina successfully slayed Chroma, but this time we may be too late. Move it, Master Olzar. I cannot allow that, of course. Of course you can't allow that. You're a big guy. Olzar's soul. I, I take it that he's under the Abyssal Chroma's influence. At last we have to fight him. Uh, I fought him so many times. He's not a legendary master. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> he sucks. He mimics my team. Is he going to mimic my team again? Let's find out. Oh, he's not. Thank God, dude. Dana, get out there. You miss, Stinky. How about if you got Thorn Pit? Dude's got so much health! Why does my guys not have that much health? And why is Dina poison? This sucks. That dude has 800 health. I'm the same level as him, and he's overpowered. Okay. Oh, good. You got that guy. Uh, shards. I leveled up the wrong one, damn it. Tsunami. Okay. A lot of damage. Another tsunami, and then they're gonna switch out because he's a scaredy cat. Now we got a grass type, so we're gonna send out our fire type, Rudandia. 
We're gonna burn this bro alive. Ow. Whoa, so much health! So much damage. Now he's gonna poison me. Oh, very cool. Whatever, nerd. You think I'm afraid of you? Check it. I have a hundred health potions. You dangus. You missed! Oh, I did the whole animation. I was scared. I was like, what's happening? Are you... Are you fucking kidding me? Hey, fun fact. I got tackle, you dangus. It should have been faster than him. That's not a lot of damage. Whatever. Who cares? Oh, get got, idiot. Ha ha ha. I win. All right. So now we got electric. Electric is weak to... Psychic, mineral, and grass. Oh, great. Dina. Ooh. Yikes. Dina. Yeah. You're not looking so good. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna heal you. Now, do you need a big one, or... I'll give you a big one. Who cares? I'll give Dina a big one. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Anyway, I'm gonna ignore that. Continue to get my shit thrashed about. I think I can gamble. Okay. It was the right move to gamble. So now, if I send out Shard... Shard should be able to handle the rest of the fight. As long as they don't have anything crazy. This dude doing so much damage for no reason. Oh, one HP in a dream. You stink. Okay. Uh, let's switch to fire. This guy could have been dead already. I've just been dumb. Okay, so that guy's dead. Now we got, oh, this guy, which I'm just going to hit with solar flare. Screw it. Next up, in the last one, he's got a fully electric cat. All right, Gooping Team Jr., you're going to take some big boy damage, but you can also deal some big boy damage. So that's why we're here. Sire! Oh, excellent. Do it again! This should kill him. Boom! Olzar, you fucking twerp. You keep getting in my way, and it's very annoying. Everyone's getting dings. Why is everyone dead? Us three are the only that stand? A ghost and someone that doesn't fight? This man did not slay Omnicron for nothing. What are you talking about? He sucks! I'm fine. If we conserve energy, we might as well... Shut up. Oh, thanks. I was going to just... I have uh, so much. Who am I fighting right now? Am I fighting him again? Okay, all right. Now I get it. Now I get why he said they're not. he's not for nothing. Why did that guy come in with no health? Why did Dina come in with a little bit of health already missing? You all saw that. I saw it. That's bullshit. I hate Torex. Torex pissing me off. Oh. What? She said she healed them. You didn't you didn't do shit. You did not do anything. You healed. You didn't heal. You didn't heal shit. You didn't heal shit. Hold on, I want to look at my team. Why is everyone hurt? Ooh, this bitch. I healed your Nexomon. You didn't heal Jack squat, buddy. I'm going to gamble it. Oh, it was a good move to gamble. Good, I'm glad. Now I'm going to use another heal potion on shards because, you know, that's who we're using. Oh, I could have gambled and killed him, but, you know, whatever. Tsunami, you're dead. Now he's going to send out... A normal type? All right, Goopington. Welcome back out on the field. Taking some big boy damage. That's okay. I can always heal you if I need to. Are we using the same move? Or not no more. All right, let's uh, pop a full heal on Goopington Jr. Okay, water type, huh? Very cool. Sire. <laughs> I'll have you know that I'm psychic for a reason, buddy. There's a reason why I have myself on my team. He's over fucking powered. Okay, rock. Wind or water? Okay, we'll use water. Goodbye, Jimmy. I haven't I oh man. You look different. You look like an axolotl. You missed. I can maybe kill him without healing. I can maybe... I can, actually. Con confirmed. 
annihilation of this dude's team. Do I have to fight him a third time? Because I prefer not to. Uh, just personally, I would choose like I wouldn't want to. All right, Olzar, take that again. Ah, uh, you may not be human, Grumble, but you are indeed humanity's greatest warrior. Okay, bye. What an asshole. Grumble, I must treat our tamers. Can you do this alone? Can you slay Chroma? Yeah, for sure. Now, when you say my Nexamon have been restored, does that mean, like, you half-assed healed him like you did last time? I don't even get a choice. We're just running at her. Hey, you did kidnap her! You fuck! You look... Really cool. Can I just say you look really cool? Oh. Remarkable. Rolzar, the Kingslayer, has been bested. To think that you've come this far, you must hold Elzia quite dearly. Ah, uh, she's our friend. Friendship and all that. Was it your duty or friendship that fueled you to save this lass? Um, legally duty. Uh, but personally, I like her as a character. So yeah, both? Peer pressure. Okay. <laughs> you also attacked Elzia in your previous life, right? Elysia? Elysia. Why are you so obsessed with her? Oh, that is a really cool picture. Oh, my heart, my mind, every fiber of my being yearns for the destruction of this witch. Oh, this is your duty, is to kill her. No doubt, this is the will of my creator, our creator. Have you met your master? I have not, and most likely never will. As I'm not so arrogant as to think that I can survive you, he who stands above all Nexomon. You could cooperate with us. If we find and defeat your master, you might be freed from their control. Tempting words, but such is the willpower of my master. That I cannot act until Eliza has been slain. And slay her I will. Um. Not if we have anything to say about it. Okay, so we got Gra Ghost. Which, coincidentally, fire's good, but damn, he's so weak to him. Okay, we might switch out to, uh... I think I can take another hit. Yeah, we're going to switch out. I'm just, you know, using as much as I can. We're going to use water because at least then water can take some hits. I don't know why that guy sucks. I chose the wrong fire type, guys. Never mind. This bitch just cracked. Tsunami. Okay. Well, finally, a Nexomon has been slain. And thanks to Chroma, which with the name like Chroma, I didn't envision this. I didn't envision... God stature. If I'm being honest with you. Great. It's going to be one of these things, huh? Where I consistently heal. That's fine. No, it's fine. You don't have that much health. So it won't be like fighting, uh, what's his face? It's just a consistent heal battle, which I'm fine with. That's cool with me. So we're going to heal Goopington and then hit him and then heal and then hit him. Oh, never mind. We're going to kill him. Fuck you, Krama. You're dead. And that's if I if I get a crit, you're definitely dead. Ooh, you got a crit. Exact change! Fucking dead! Alright. Good. Good, I'm glad. Dina leveled up. She wasn't out, but, you know, that's okay. I will protect this child. For it is my duty as king, I guess? I was gonna say Nexalord, but I guess they've promoted me to king. I don't know why. Hey, everyone's alive. Took you long enough. Come on, man. Do you know, do you have any idea why Krama attacked you twice now? This may be the key to in the entire abyssal mystery. I'm not surprised. Sorcerers, sorcerers are, have often been at the turning points of history. That's true. Indeed, thinking about it, Omnicron's downfall and Vados' defeat were possible thanks, thanks largely to our folks. And the master of the abyssals appears to be quite wary of that detail. Either way, it is not rare for those to be of an arcane lineage like Hilda and myself to meet untimely ends. Are you implying that sorcerers are being systematically eliminated? Couldn't that be, couldn't that be Zeigler? He does have a grudge against you two. It could be. We'll find out sooner or later. She knows. That bitch knows. All right. She's smart. She ain't dummy. She's no dummy. She knows. She knows something that I don't. All right, nothing on any of the bushes. Let's head out of here. Yeah, let's go to the main outpost. Why are we going back to the main outpost? Well, I want—I've got—I bought the meat. I want to use the meat. Now, where was that? 
I don't remember where the meat guy was. <laughs> well, either way, this is the end of the episode. In the next episode, we'll be giving this man food to see what happens with this pot. Either way, thank you for watching this episode. Hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!